This is no ordinary experiment. The horizontal tubes are part of a set of lasers that help test the UK's nuclear bombs. Contained in a giant hall, but used to zap tiny samples of material to see how they'd react under the kind of conditions a nuclear explosion might create. You take all those beams and a billionth of a second, bring them all together and heat a small target to those temperatures and pressures. The Defence Secretary receiving a crash course in physics. For a non-scientist that is hard to follow. It is. Let alone comprehend. Nuclear powers like the UK have long been banned from test firing their ultimate weapon for real. So scientists here at AWE in Oldermaston are relying on lab experiments and other data alone as they develop a new bomb to replace Britain's ageing warheads. Is there a sense of urgency about the need to build the new warhead? Yes, I mean, you've probably read the Strategic Defence Review and there's very much the rhetoric of this is a new era, um, you know, a threat and therefore it's a new era for defence and AWE is absolutely at the heart of that. It's why, under tight security, vaults of enriched uranium and plutonium are stored here. It's also why the UK is spending billions of pounds on overdue renovations. A lot of the infrastructure here was built decades ago. It's looking pretty tired, but there's a massive investment project underway to construct new facilities like this science block behind me. It's as the people here, for the first time in a long time, have to design and then build a new nuclear warhead. The government must build a new fleet of submarines as well to carry the weapons. The UK's nuclear deterrent is the ultimate security we'd consider only using it in self-defence in the most extreme circumstances. But more widely, it's certainly true the world is changing, threats are increasing, nuclear risks are rising. And it's falling on the scientists here to respond in secret. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.